Hey guys, welcome back to the channel in our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the Dayton Flyers traveling to California to take on the San Jose State Spartans, who are ranked 18th in the nation. Dayton is at 112th. We've already seen the Spartans once in this dynasty. They beat the Northern Colorado Bears 49-7. to Let's see if the Flyers will have the same fate today. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. And the rain looks like it's going to make things a little bit slippery out there for today's game between the Flyers and the Spartans of San Jose State. The college football season continues, and I got to tell you, Lee and Kirk, I am ready for this game. Here come the Spartans. The Flyers may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? San Jose State comes into this football game led by the quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, he block the focus competitor, and he'll be ready to play. Nice pick, Kirk. I'm picking the Spartans. <laughs> All right, there you have it. The coach has made his pick. Let's go down to the captains at midfield. Spartans are heavy favorites today over the Flyers. And here is Dorian Wera scrambling out right side, throwing it right. And that's caught by Amari Manuel past midfield, past the 40, past the 30, still going all the way out of bounds of the 24-yard line. What a run after the catch. That would give the Flyers a big first down at the 24. And that pass is incomplete on third down. So it's now fourth down here for Dayton. Dorian taking a shot towards the end zone, and that is caught by Smash Jackson for his first career receiving touchdown. Dorian just kind of threw it up there and, and kind of prayed on it, and it worked. Curry with the option here. Rob Orlandi chases him down. He was the last line of defense. Good run for the Spartans. Mott over the middle, almost picked off by Rob Orlandi. Nice catch for Rodgers. And here's the big fullback, Thorne, on the carry, and he is crushed by Rob Orlandi for the first career forced fumble for him. And that is recovered by the Dayton defense. He stuck him good on that one. Pop! First and ten now for the Flyers. We're a scrambling out right side. He is electric on the run. He'll pick up eight or nine yards. Second down and one. Quarterback sweep left side. What a block. And Wura is going to get the first down. Play action. They're going to take a deep shot here. All day to throw it. And that's James Skaggs, the tight end, wide open. He'll get it inside the red zone. First down for the Dayton Flyers. And they're going to go to the air again here. Nope. He's going to take off up the middle to the three-yard line. Such a great runner in the open field. Second and goal. Smash Jackson smashing through the defense and he'll get in for the touchdown. His second touchdown of the day, first rushing. And the Flyers are now on top 14 to nothing. Now the Flyers had a great week two matchup against the Central Michigan Chippewas. They lost that game 52 to 42. Another hit right there from Rob Orlandi. But the Flyers had 619 yards of offense in that game. Just an unreal performance. They had 176 yards on the ground, 443 through the air. Of course, they used both quarterbacks in that matchup. Dayton back on offense now. San Jose State struggling. Here's Smash Jackson breaking a couple tackles and getting to the San Jose State 45-yard line. We're going to throw it, rolling out right side. He's got Jenkins open. He'll have the first down to the 33-yard line. 179 yards of offense so far for Dayton. They're picking up where they left off last week. And look at the open field in front of Dorian where He is inside the 10 down at the five yard line. Attack on a face mask penalty at the end of that run. Smash Jackson takes it in for his second rushing touchdown of the day, his third of the season. Mott gonna throw it, pressured. He is hit as he throws it and that should have been intercepted by Cummings. But he misjudged it. And the Flyers get the ball right back. Here is Smash Jackson up the middle. Huge pickup, about 17 yards. Jackson again, this time on a toss play. He'll have another first down here past the 35, or the 45, excuse me, and past the 40. 
second and ten. Jackson again picking up six or seven yards. He had 94 yards last week with one touchdown. He also had five broken tackles. I think he's got that already today. And he'll have a nice reception here for a first down. McLean, the big fullback up the gut, getting the first down. Nice run for the non-subscriber player. And Smash Jackson's going to take another one in for his fourth touchdown of the game, third rushing. An unreal performance by him and this offensive line. It's a fantastic display. Curry going to throw it out left side to the quarterback. Gloves Malone misjudged the ball there. And Mott will pick up a first down on that reception. Mott left side. Houston, he gets popped by Gloves Malone. Malone had seven tackles last week. A lot of tackles for a cornerback. And a nice completion out to Love on the sideline. Rob Orlandi only had one tackle last week. And one pass deflection. He was very underwhelming in his debut. And here's Curry up the middle. Nine-yard pickup for the halfback. And they're going to go option pass here. And Rob Orlandi's going to pick him off in the end zone for his first career interception. And he's going to get taken down at the two-yard line. He's already equaled all of his stats from last game. And he'll add an interception for his career numbers. John Gruden giving him a hug on the sideline. Even the referee couldn't stop him from getting that pick. From the three-yard line, Smash Jackson taking off. He's in the open field, past the 30, past the 40, and out of bounds at the 41-yard line. The longest run of his career so far. That was a 33-yarder. Dorian we're going to take off. Nice block on the outside, and he'll juke up to the 45-yard line. And I'm not sure what San Jose State is doing today, but they are getting destroyed. Dorian we're going to take off again. Stays in bounds and picks up 12 yards and a first down. He's going to have 100 yards by the end of this day. And what a pass to Amari Manuel. Perfectly thrown ball. Manuel, of course, had five catches for 208 yards with one touchdown last week. And here is Smash Jackson getting another touchdown. He has all five touchdowns today. Four on the ground, one receiving. They can't stop him. Mott going to take a shot right side, caught by Houston, well short of the first down marker. That'll make it third and three. And Curry is stuffed in the backfield. Swanson, his fifth tackle of the game. The Flyers get the ball back here. Last play of the half. And we're just going to take off and pick up a big chunk of yardage all the way down to the 40. And I believe that puts him over 100 yards rushing for the day. He had 90 last week with two touchdowns. What an unreal first half, folks. This is not at all what I expected to happen in this game. Uh, seeing how San Jose State throttled the Northern Colorado Bears. I had Dayton winning this game by one point, and Rob Orlandi gets another interception, his second of the ball game. But I predicted a 28-27 victory for the Flyers, and it's, it's not even close. Flyers are running all over them right now. And a great block by Dorian Wurst brings Jackson free to the one-yard line. Unstoppable. And he will punch it in again. He has six touchdowns today, guys. Six. He has as many points as the Flyers had all last week already. Not play action. Taking a shot over the middle. Caught by Wilson. He'll have the first down. And Thorne, the fullback, is stuffed in the backfield here. Great play by the defense. Flyers will get the ball back. Dorian, we're going to take off again, getting 14 or 15 yards. It's like a highlight reel of Dorian Wura and Smash Jackson today. And he, oh my goodness, he hurdles the cornerback and gets to the 49-yard line. He's got 148 rushing yards today, 163 through the air. That is a total of 311 unreal and here's a completion downfield to Wesley all the way to the 21 yard line the Flyers just keep on moving so easily and here's Smash Jackson picking up six more yards he's got a buck 55 today McLean the big fullback he'll get the first down on the ground up the middle and they'll go Smash Jackson again he's gonna walk in for his easiest touchdown of the day untouched seven 
touchdowns today. Six rushing, one receiving. And they, they should really just put like three guys on him at all times. There's Williams on the return. And he's stuck behind his own players. And he fumbles the football. And it is recovered by Dayton. There's a flag for clipping. Obviously, that is not going to be accepted. And the Flyers get the ball right back, everybody. And here's Smash Jackson again. Unstoppable. 171 yards. We're taking off. He'll get the first down. First and goal from the four-yard line now. Look at those rushing numbers. Insane. Smash Jackson again. Seven. Seven rushing touchdowns. For Smash Jackson. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's 56 to nothing. Orlandi out in coverage, and he just completely destroyed Houston. Picked him up and just basically gave him a rock bottom. Mott sacked. Back at the 25-yard line. Not subscribe uh, subscriber defensive end coming through. This is just such a dominant performance today from the Flyers, and they're not done yet. Look at the open field in front of Dorian Wurra. Past the 40, past the 30, past the 20, and inside the 10-yard line down to the 8. Just throw in the towel, Spartans. Just pick up that white towel and, and just throw it on the field right now. There should really be a mercy rule in college football. Fourth quarter now, backups are in, and Rowe, the second string halfback will get a touchdown of his own so that is eight rushing touchdowns for the Flyers today seven by Smash Jackson Dorian Wurra has one touchdown pass to Smash Jackson and that was probably the most dominant performance I have seen so far in this dynasty I mean we've seen Savannah State light up the scoreboard a couple times already but this was just unreal good like 56 to nothing and the backups come in and they score so it's 63 to 0 28 first downs 657 yards of offense 463 on the ground 194 in the air zero turnovers three takeaways today 698 total yards zero punts for the Flyers I mean 63 to nothing guys that's nine touchdowns Dorian, we're a perfect game for him. Sacked zero times. 212 on the ground for him. That's the quarterback, everybody. But he didn't score today. Jackson, of course, with the seven touchdowns. EJ Rowe had the other touchdown run. Jared Martin was in there. He just kneeled the ball down a couple times. That was it for him. And this was against the 18th ranked team in the country, folks, who previously beat the Northern Colorado Bears 49-7. Uh, I know the Bears don't really have a great defense, but the, <laughs> the Flyers just, they beat them in every facet of the game. There was only one chance for the uh, Spartans to score today. Of course, Rob Orlandi came away with the interception. He had seven tackles today. The Flyers defense was on the field for quite a bit, actually. And there he goes, Rob Orlandi, two interceptions. One tackle for a loss today. Scott Williams, defensive tackle, had a sack today. Bunch of pass deflections. One for Gloves Malone. Three forced fumbles. Rob Orlandi had one. He was balling out of his mind. He was pretty much the uh, Smash Jackson of the defense, I would say. Zero punts, of course. And the top three players for San Jose State are just people that had tackles. And that was it. Eight total touchdowns today. Smash Jackson, MVP of the game. Our next Flyers game will be week four as they travel to take on the 13th ranked Eastern Michigan Eagles. They might be ranked higher or lower. We will find out uh, after all of their week three matchups are completed. And we have our recap video and predictions for week four. Our next week three matchup will be North Dakota State traveling to take on the James Madison Dukes in a rematch of the 2017 National Championship game. That'll be a fun one. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.